Well, yesterday was Mitchell's birthday, and we yep. were just talking. We have the same birthday month. I we do, and only ten days apart. Yep. And I can't believe we'd never have realized that before. We're both wearing our birth birthstone rings mm -hmm. this morning. We realize her birthday is December 16th and mine is on the 26th, yeah. which will actually be here before you know it. It's yes. hard to believe the seasons are already changing. And I, know. I mean, it's felt like fall all week this week. It's just been absolutely gorgeous. A little bit warmer today, though. We are looking at warmer conditions settling into the area. A little bit of fog out there right now, especially over near Harlan and Bell County, less than half a mile there. So if you're planning on hitting the road anytime soon, just be sure to take your time. But by mid-morning, this will start to clear out and we will start to see nice and sunny skies for this afternoon. Those fall-like conditions returning, but a little bit warmer. Right now, temperatures on the mild side, 45 in London, 55 over in Jackson, 46 in Wise, and 43 degrees over in Harlan. Nice clean sweeps on our pinpoint Doppler right now, very dry out there. We're going to stay dry because we do have this high-pressure system basically just clearing us out, drying us off over the next couple of days and we're going to continue to see that trend throughout the day today and tomorrow but then things are going to start to change because we have this cold front off to the west and it's going to continue to progress towards the east here in eastern Kentucky by the weekend but the rest of the week is staying nice and dry but look behind that cold front you can see all of that blue there representing that cool air so that is what will be on the way after the rain moves through this weekend so something to look forward to nice and cool conditions returning sunrise this morning at 748 sunset 647 and we have a waxing give us tonight for our moon phase, so it's going to be a good night to go out and check out that moon because we are looking at clear skies tonight. Now, as far as this morning goes, we are dealing with that patchy, dense fog throughout the areas. 45 degrees for our temperatures as you're walking out the door. And then by this afternoon, a little bit warmer, 75 with nice and sunny skies. Now, our skies are going to continue to stay clear throughout the day today. We may see a couple of clouds here and there, but for the most part, things are going to be clear and then we're going to stay clear tonight, meaning that we could be dealing with more fog again tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind again as you're heading out the door in the morning tomorrow. And then tomorrow's, tomorrow morning temperatures a little bit warmer than this morning. We're only looking at temperatures dropping down to about the lower 50s. And then throughout the rest of the day Friday, maybe a couple of clouds by the evening. But for the most part, things are going to be nice and clear. But then things start to change on Saturday. That's when that cold front's going to be knocking on our door, bringing us inc increased sky cover throughout the day Saturday. And then by Saturday night, our rain chances are going to be moving into the area. You can see that cold front moving through Saturday night. So again, we do have rain chances starting around 7 o'clock on Saturday night, lasting throughout the overnight hours and then into your Sunday as well. But as far as city goes, no rain chances out there. Absolutely gorgeous day today. Temperatures topping out in the mid-70s, a little bit warmer, but then by this evening, we're dropping back down to the 60s already. So it is going to be a rather mild night tonight and then... For the next seven days, things are looking pretty good as well, except those rain chances do start to return on Saturday, and then they just kind of hang around throughout the rest of the week as well. We're looking at rain chances throughout the next couple of days this week, so it is going to be a little bit of a rainy week. But let's go ahead and check out that fridge art. I'm pretty sure we have a nice and festive fridge art just in time for fall. A nice pumpkin patch there sent in by Brooklyn Branham from Johns Creek Head Start. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll be right back after this.